All right, so uh, I finally got it. Um, thanks to my boss for the bonus. Uh, so I grabbed a Lenovo Mirage Solo, which runs Daydream VR and has six off uh, tracking. Um, picked it up. I also have the Oculus Go. Uh, I would probably recommend that over this. For most people, it makes more sense, but for me, there's a specific reason I wanted this, and I originally did want this, but when I saw the price, I was a little turned off by it. And I'm going to unbox this. Hold on one second. Ooh, this knife's a little sharp. I'm cutting through my... I'm cutting through... I have a new piece of uh, dollar store whiteboard thingy. Yay, because the old one was a little ratty. And I cut through it. I dropped this knife one time and cut my finger open and it was blood. I was doing the dishes. Lots of blood and I had to take care of that. It sucked. Anyways, so we have here the box. It's fairly big. This device is apparently a lot bigger than the Oculus Go. I do not have the Oculus Go over here. Oh, there is a... I thought this would have cut through that. <laughs> Anything on the other side? All right. So, let's just lift this off. Come on. Come on. Boom. And there it is. Right on the top. A box. See? Oh, here it is. They glued this down. <laughs> That, that's the whole big show there. I'm going to try to review this without doing too much mention of the Oculus Go because there's a lot of stuff like that. And if you, you know, like I'd like to have something. It was kind of frustrating trying to find something about this headset without so much emphasis on the Oculus Go. I mean, I get it, but I was really wanting to see something that just focuses on the headset and I couldn't find anything. And I'm also going to do a lot of gameplay. Unless there's some reason it can't be done. And here are the shitty ass earbuds that come with this. I don't need that shit. It could burn in hell for all I care. Anyway. Now. Here's a power brick. Oh, well, it's probably broken. I don't even care. Because I already have a power brick. I have a thousand of them. And this comes with a USB-C cable. This I could use. Um, and then here's the shitty Daydream controller, three DOF controller, kind of stupid. I have like, this is my third Daydream controller now. So, same shit. Yeah. So there you go. Volume rocker, that's, that's one good thing over the, the Oculus Go controller, but it's not going to save it or make it better than the Oculus Go controller. Um, and it charges... So no batteries, but I like the battery on the uh, Oculus Go controller because it lasts a really long time and I have rechargeables. So there you go. So that's the, the bullshit that nobody cares about. So apparently it's necessary to always show that. And there's nothing under there. Okay. All right. So now we have here <laughs> the, uh, the actual headset itself with foam and there's plastic on it. And here's, this is the one thing I can't stand about it. Um, not the plastic. This foam cannot be removed. Well, I guess you could probably, like, get it off, you know, forcefully. And then, like, uh, some kind of, you know, apply some kind of new foam. But here's the, the lenses. I'll try to get that to focus there. I'm hoping the optics, I heard that the optics on the Go are better technically other than the refresh rate of course but like the clarity and everything in the screen door effect i heard was better on the oculus go um i gotta see what the the uh what you call it is like what am i talking about i gotta see what the uh the fov and everything is like because i really like the oculus go's fov and i also have to remember that this does not flip up like my lenovo explorer 
um, <laughs> so I don't end up breaking it. Um, there's no, there's not really, really much of a reason to do that that I can think of other than trying to see outside of your, you know, see what's going on around you, maybe. Um, but, huh, this plastic's a little shitty. And there's no speaker on it either, so you need headphones. Which, I mean, on the Oculus Go, I've been having issues with, uh, if you put the volume loud enough, it crackles a little with certain content, depends. But, you know, so I end up needing headphones anyways. But, uh, whatever. I also have those, uh, PlayStation headphones, the Mantis headphones. So I was thinking about attaching those to this. Um, because I really wanted something that was wireless, and I have a lot of Daydream apps already. So this will be cool with, uh, I want to try this out with Need for Speed, uh, No Limits VR. That's one of the big ones, and I also want to try... Uh, what is that? I don't own it yet, but um, it would be nice if I could think of it. <laughs> uh, what's the game? Um, Dread Halls. I want to try Dread Halls because I like to be able to peer around the uh, the, um, the halls and stuff like that like you can on PC. So I think this would be cool. Um, so, most likely the Oculus Go would be the headset that you would lay down with and all that and all that and all that and all that. And all that. But whatever, who cares? Here it is. Uh, we have the button that you can move it forward and backwards. Um, has the two cameras right there. Um, I'm really excited. <laughs> I actually wanted this one more than the Go, but when I saw, the, like I said, when I saw the price tag, I was like, Ugh. and I got the Go. And I thought I was going to dislike it and send it back, and then I ended up really loving it. But I can't wait to try this out. So there will be a video about that, and I'll try to get a review. But, I, I, you know, I like to try the device out for more than, like, a week or something. So I want to make a review that, that emphasizes this headset and not just the Oculus Go all the time. So, and, of course, there are other headsets. If you want, uh, there are other reviews if you'd want that. Um, okay. So thank you for watching. And I'm going to play with this. I got somewhere to go. Damn it. All right. See you.